arrived in Bangkok. It is 9.45 a.m. I can check into my hotel at 2 p.m. I would say let's do some camera shopping. Yeah, I actually switched to Canon. Let's look for some lenses. <laughs> okay, let's see. 50 mm 1.2, it looks so much smaller on the internet. Man, it looks like a zoom lens. I actually love Canon RF lenses. That's why I switched back. Shop is still closed. Music gets quite loud here. I hope DaVinci Resolve solves that. One question that came into my mind, especially since I don't travel that much anymore, is why I should even shoot videos. So what's the point of each video? And I find this question really important because if I don't have a why, I also don't really feel motivated to do something. And that's why I want to give you a few good reasons in this video why you should make videos because maybe you have the same problem. So that could help you a bit with your motivation. Let's go. I've been told that it's not allowed to film inside the shop shopping center. That looks fancy, my brother would love that. If you're in Bangkok, you want to drive tuk-tuk. Got some nice and soft window light here. That's actually why I chose the room. Okay, let's give you the first reason why you should make videos and that is a mix of self-expression and inspiration. And I mixed that up intentionally here because self-expression is something that you mostly do for yourself while inspiring others is obviously something that you do for others. And it perfectly aligns together because by expressing yourself, you automatically inspire others. By expressing yourself, you want to show something that you like, that you enjoy doing or so. And by doing so, you automatically attract people that might like the same and maybe they don't even know it. Like the first videos that I produced were skate videos and paintball later. And these were obviously sports that I really enjoyed. So I want to ex wanted to express myself by sharing videos about it and maybe people that did not try it before see those videos, they get inspired. What leads to them going to the skate park on the weekend or playing paintball instead of being drunk all weekend long. I mean, my, my skate videos back then, they were not that good because I sucked at skateboarding. But still, e even if you're not that good with it or maybe your camera skills are not that good, maybe the right person sees it and finds something in your videos and that can inspire them. And I think this is a very big reason to shoot videos because you can do something fun that you enjoy expressing yourself while at the same time inspiring others to make their lives better. And let's also give you the second reason directly and that is that you make new and better experiences by making videos. And the reason for that is that when you want to shoot better videos, you're willing to go the extra mile. And for me that means for example that I go on a lot more sunrise hikes because otherwise I wouldn't have the best light and the best view. And to be honest this is also something where I make the best experiences with because otherwise if I go for noontime for example you have tons of tourists there so it's, it's not that nice anymore and it also doesn't look as nice usually as you see on the pictures on Instagram or wherever because those shots were usually made at sunrise or sometimes even sunset depending a little bit on the spot and what also lets you have better experiences is that you start appreciating small things more for example I absolutely love it to enjoy a coffee in the morning while sitting somewhere for sunrise at a lake and shooting a time-lapse it calms me down it's de-stressing it's just beautiful to do that in the morning this is nothing special really you just get up a little bit earlier and you drive to a lake close by and you enjoy the sunrise there. Oftentimes you have a bit of mist on the water and so on and that lets you appreciate the beauty of nature. And now when I look back of all these years of making videos there are so many of those experiences that I don't want to miss and the nice thing is also that I have them all on camera. I must say I lost one year though because I once deleted a hard drive and I thought I had a copy made before but I didn't. So that sucks of course, they were actually some of the best experiences of whale watching and stuff like that. So don't, don't delete your hard drives without being absolutely sure that you have it saved somewhere. But yeah, usually it's like I sometimes go through my footage and then I look back and I remember what of a wonderful experience that was. So if self-expression and inspiring others is nothing for you, then making better experiences is. But now I would say it is finally time to go out because there's a Canon showroom around here and I hope there is the R6 Mark II which I want to test and hopefully I get it next week. This is actually the Canon camera that I wanted to get because it finally looks like Canon made a camera that is usable for video but ironically by researching Canon I also noticed that with firmware upgrade 1.6 the R5 is finally usable like all the overheating issues are solved. This is the camera that I'm shooting on right now so let's go. 
No luck, don't have it here. I still have to buy a birthday present for Gao. Actually quite late with that. So, I got ready for the evening. Having a little meet up with Epidemic Sound and that is also the reason why I came to Bangkok today. Which is also the reason or the third reason why you should make videos and that is that opportunities will come up to you that you never thought or dreamed of before. Like today is actually not a big opportunity now with Epidemic Sound, it's just a little meet up. But a few months ago they hired me to shoot one travel music video for them which was a super nice project. A few weeks ago they invited flew me into Stockholm for a creator summit which was insane. So working with Epidemic Sound is a really nice opportunity and if I hadn't published videos consistently on YouTube that would have never happened. And of course it's not the only opportunity that came to me. I worked with backpacking tours before. We shot multiple tours together which was awesome. Also some smaller tour providers that I worked with. I shot videos for a paintball field. I actually had another YouTube channel before about paintball where I even worked together with the German paintball league and even when you don't publish videos consistently it can actually happen that already some opportunities come up as long as other people see those videos and they are somewhat good because like when I played paintball for example I made a few videos about it they, they were not professional at all but the local paintball field owner really liked my videos so of course he hired me to make some for his field it wasn't like like really high paid freelancing work or so it was a little bit on the side a couple hundred euros like one or two times per year nothing big but hey having a bit more money on the side while it's still working your main job is also nice and can help you to buy a better camera. So definitely don't only make videos but also publish them somewhere. It can be on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok or whatever because if you bring your videos even if they are not super good in, in front of the eyes from other people that might lead to opportunities that you never thought about before. There's one more reason why you should make videos which we will come to later because now it's time to go to the Epidemic Sound meetup. Oh, how is the R5 slow light? Doesn't look too bad on the screen. I'm at ISO 3200 now. 6400. I think 6400 should be usable. Or we'll see that on the computer, of course. Hey, how are you? So good to see you. Nice to meet you. Or we can do it. Look at this view. That is awesome. I love it, right? Hey. Wait, we wanted to try something. Would a uh, Fuji flash work on a, on a cannon? That was late. I'm not used to that anymore. Cannon skin tones are better than the competition. Oh Happy my. birthday to you. Oh, my flight goes soon. So now I feel a little bit more awake and let's talk about our last reason why you should make videos and that is that you develop new skills and these are not just videography skills. I actually made a list here of the skills that I developed by doing YouTube and that is video shooting, public speaking and on-camera performance, it's video editing, color grading, social media management, marketing, web design graphic design and also a bit of copywriting even if I'm not super good at that. So you see this is a huge list of skills and these are actually all the skills that you really need to build a business. Of course I also build a lot of knowledge on how to create digital products and where I can find physical products even if I don't sell them yet just because I read a lot of books because I was interested in all of that stuff. So as you can see the skill set that you can build from making videos for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok or whatever is actually pretty huge and that means that even if you should not make it as a YouTuber or so, you can still use those skills as a freelancer or to even build a completely different business. I mean, video is a huge marketing tool and if you can use that to sell your products online, that is huge because then you don't need to hire an agency to do that for you. So this I think is also a big reason, just the skills that you will develop by making videos. And what I really like about that is also that it's pretty much free or at least very cheap. Like if you would go to university for all of those skills, you would pay a ton of money. But on the internet you can get a lot of information free. Or if you want to learn a bit quicker, then you can invest in online courses. This is what I did a lot and I also sell online courses with 
a lot of those skills on my website where you can actually get a 30% discount right now. You will find the code in the description below. So check that out as well. We, for example, have the practical videography course that helps a lot because you have weekly tasks that you can do to become a better videographer quickly and lots of people like that. So check that out. And as a conclusion, I can only say that I sometimes also go through hard times where I'm not really sure why I should even make videos. But then remembering back of about these things that we talked about in this video and also how I started, that always helps me to get motivation back. And it was actually pretty complicated for me because I've been a factory worker before I started doing that. So if I can do that, then you can do too, I believe. And if you want to know more about my story, then watch this video here in the corner. There you learn more about it. And also if you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you in future videos.